what's going on guys welcome back to another video today we're going to be covering something new that i recently found on ios 15 and that is a native way to do bottom sheets so we have this uh, image here and this plus button. If I tap it, you see that we're presenting this image picker controller in a bottom sheet. And this is actually something new, which I haven't seen covered anywhere else yet, but you can present any controller in this bottom sheet UI and it actually has a bunch of ways to configure it, make it full screen, you know, dim it out, et cetera, et cetera. So we're gonna be going and uh, taking a look at this new API, how to customize it and of course use it. So if that sounds good, smash the like button, hit subscribe, you guys know the drill, let's get into the video. All right, we're gonna begin by opening up Xcode and creating a new project. Bear in mind, this is Xcode 13, beta one. We're gonna stick with the app template under iOS. And let's go ahead and give this project a name of custom bottom sheets. You wanna make sure your language is set to Swift and we're working with UIKit today. So interface should be storyboard. Go ahead and continue, save the project wherever you'd like. I'll toss it onto my desktop here. And first things first, we're gonna expand our Xcode window and close the right panel here. And we'll also go ahead and give our project a run in our simulator. I'll stick with the 12 Pro Max. And we're gonna get right away into an example using iOS 15 sheet presentation controllers. So kind of a mouthful, but basically there is a new presentation controller directly baked into UIKit, which allows you to present your view controllers as these like half sheet bottom controllers. So let's do an example so we can actually see something uh, to relate it to. So I'm gonna do an example where we show a bottom image picker. So I'm gonna sh say here, show image picker. And basically we're gonna present this when we show, uh, rather when we tap on a button, and the nice thing is, if we have a half sheet, we can allow the user to see the interface behind it. So I'm also going to have an image here. And as we select a different image in the image picker, we'll basically in real time change that image. So let's go ahead and deal with the actual half sheet first. So we're going to have a navigation item, right bar button item, and it's basically going to be a, a plus button, which we're going to tap to actually show the bottom sheet, so we're gonna say the style here is add, the selector is self, and the action is did tap add. Now did tap add, we're gonna change this right here, did tap add, and let's go ahead and create a image picker. So I'm just using image picker controller as an example. Uh, in fact, image picker controller is uh, slated for deprecation in the coming months and years. So you can use this with your you know own type of controllers, but this is a fairly straightforward example. So I figured uh, image picker controller would be great. So this is how you set up a pretty basic picker controller. And then you say something like present animated true. Now, how do you get this to show up in a bottom sheet? So before I do that, let me go ahead and uh, conform to the image picker delegate here. So it doesn't yell at me on that line. And then we'll bring in the two image picker functions here. We'll go ahead and say image picker did cancel and image picker did finish picking. And this one we're gonna say dismiss, dismiss uh, animated true with a completion handler. And let's go ahead and give this a run and let's see what happens. We're actually not gonna see our add button because I forgot to do one more thing. And that one more thing, let's see why this is yelling at me. Let's see, picker.delegate cannot assign lifecycle view UI, UI view controller. Uh, this also needs to conform to UI navigation controller. Hit command B one more time and let's see what's going on. All right, looks like this is yelling at me because we can't spell correctly. And let's see what's going on here. Add missing conformance to UI image picker controller and UI navigation controller delegate. I think I just did that. Let's double check. Uh, this should be a delegate, it's not the controller itself. And hopefully that error goes away and we should be good to go. So awesome, we do need to embed this controller in a navigation controller to get the uh, top bar and show our plus button. So I'm just gonna do it in storyboard here. We'll select the controller, go to editor and hit embed in navigation controller. Let's give this a run and make sure our plus button is showing up and that we can actually tap it to pop up our uh, image picker. So we'll go ahead and let our uh, app run here. 
All right, there is our image picker. Now we want to throw this into a half sheet such that it shows up basically like this uh, and not the entire screen. So let's talk about how to do that. So we go back to the view controller and right before we hit uh, present, we basically want to customize the presentation controller. So I'm going to say if let sheet is going to be uh, the picker dot presentation controller as a UI presentation controller, which is new for iOS 15, we're going to go ahead and customize this. So a sheet has a number of properties on it, and the terminology is a little confusing, but the most important thing that I would say you should focus on is something called detents. So if we go ahead and uh, start typing in detents here, let's see if I can find it, there it is, detents. We basically want to specify which detents are available uh, to this particular uh, sheet. Now detent is kind of a confusing term because not pe many people are familiar with it. So this should be a presentation controller. Let's make sure I'm doing this correctly. All right, let's see what the error here is. Conditional binding. Uh, this should be a UI sheet presentation controller, just like that. And those errors will go away. Uh, a detent is basically the size that you can specify for a given uh, presentation controller. And right now there's only medium and large. As far as I'm aware, medium is your half sheet. So if you go ahead and just give this a run, let's see what assigning that medium thing does. So I'll hit the plus and now what you'll notice is it presents and it's in this half sheet configuration. So this is pretty simple. Now let's take it a step further. How do we make this so the user can drag it up all the way? Because right now it's kind of stuck here. We can definitely go and drag it down to dismiss, but what if I want to be able to expand it? What we can go ahead and do is in the detents, we can go ahead and say this also supports large. However, in the detent for medium, we want to not dim out the background. So we're going to say smallest undimmed detent identifier is going to be medium. This detent terminology is not very fun. Um, and let's see what else is in here. So if we go and hit the sheet, we can see that there is a delegate on here as well. There's a selected detent you can pr provide by default. There's also this prefer scrolling uh, for the actual controller. Basically, the scroll of the internal sheet controller will also let you grab and pull down the sheet. And then there's also show the grabber, which is a little bar in the sheet, which I believe is true by default. But let's go ahead and uh, give this a run. And let's see what this looks like. All right, we're going to hit the plus at the top. And we should see our sheet. And now we should also be able to expand this all the way up just like that. So what's pretty cool is um, you have both of these uh, sizes available. Now let's make this uh, example more full by adding in our image. And then I'll also show you guys how to programmatically uh, change the actual detent here. So we can go ahead and add a image view. I'm going to say private let image view is going to basically be a UI image view. We're going to go ahead and just create it with this anonymous closure pattern. We'll say this is a UI image view. I'm going to return it here. I'm going to go ahead and say that its image is a UI image with a system name of photo, which is basically one of just the SF symbols that's baked into the library. I'll go ahead and give it a tint color, and I'll also go ahead and give it a content mode, which is going to be scale aspect to fit. Let's go ahead and add this as a sub view. And then we want to make sure we also give it a frame. So I'll give it a frame in uh, another function, but let's just give a title here of custom sheets. I'm going to override view did layout sub views, super view did layout sub views. And the actual frame for this guy is going to be frame. And we're going to see what we want here. So I'm going to give this a size for the image size. Uh, image size is going to be a CG float. And this is going to be view frame size uh, with maybe subtracting 40. And this should be size. All right, this is going to be size. The height is going to be size. The X is going to be the width of the UI of this view, I should say. 
size dot width minus the size divided by two and then the y is going to be view dot safe area insets dot top maybe plus 10 so we have a little bit of buffer and when we finish picking a actual uh, photo what we want to go ahead and do is get that image out so I'm going to say guard led image is info and from this we want to get the UI image picker controller info key and we want the actual image that was selected I think it's called original image else we're gonna go on return we're gonna to try to cast this as a UI image and finally here we can say image view dot image is image so go ahead and give it a run and let's make sure it works. So we're going to go ahead and hit this plus button. We should get our bottom sheet and boom, just like that, we can change this image in line. And if you've ever seen apps where Apple uses this pattern, they actually use it quite often with this bottom sheet UI. They use it in their Maps app or their Stocks app or I know Instagram likes using this UI as well. This is exactly how they're doing it with this custom presentation controller. Historically, we would have to write our own version of this, but it's nice that Apple is opening this up for us third-party devs. Now, let's go ahead and take a look at one weird thing. So if I go ahead and make this large and I hit this, what's strange is it doesn't really tell our users that something is happening here at all because it's covering what's changing in the background. So in here, what we can actually do, and let's see if I can remember how to do it, there is a way where you can uh, actually manually specify the selected detent identifier. And let's go ahead and do this like so. We're gonna say selected detent identifier. And I think we have to actually have to do this off of the picker. So we're gonna say uh, if let sheet is the picker dot presentation controller. Once again, as the UI sheet presentation controller. That's not how you spell that. UI sheet presentation controller. Let's see which one I want. This one here. And we should be able to specify the selected detent. Now, I don't think it's going to animate, but we'll take a look at the animation in a second. So basically, whenever the image is selected, we want to animate it down to the medium form factor so the user can see it. So let's go ahead and expand it. I'll select this first one here. And right, just like that, our uh, sheet changed to the medium configuration, but you might have noticed that it didn't animate, so it kind of looks a little ugly. I think there is a way to animate on here with a animation. I think there is this, animate changes actually, beautiful. And we can drop this guy right into here. And what, what this will do is this will basically collapse the drawer, the sheet into the medium configuration. Uh, without it just popping and looking kind of strange. So I'll go ahead and pick an image and just like that It's a little choppy in the simulator right there, but it does actually go and uh, Move downwards. So pretty cool. So that is a uh, UI sheet presentation controller in a nutshell again I used this picker here as an example, but realistically you can use any type of controller So just for the sake of it, let's go ahead and say our picker here is going to be I don't know, just a basic UI view controller. And then I'll also go ahead and assign this guy's background color on its view. We'll say view background color is going to be maybe system pink. Go ahead and give this a run. And let's see why this is yelling at me. Go ahead and do that. Give this a run. And we should see that uh, we get that pink sheet when we tap the plus button. So my point is, don't feel limited to the UI image picker. There's a lot of really great scenarios. And I'm actually planning to do a couple of videos and courses where these are leveraged because these half sheet UI components are so universal at this point um, that it's kind of silly not to use them because it's pretty cool when you do incorporate them, then they work nicely in your UI and UX. So. That's all I've got for you guys today. If you enjoyed the video, drop a like down below. This was a super unplanned video for today, but I found it pretty recently, so I figured I'd share. Subscribe to the channel if you're into iOS and want to stick around. I always love hearing from you guys, so leave a comment down below. If you have any questions, feedback, video suggestions, or just want to say hi, thanks again for watching. I'll catch you on the next one.